Ciao everybody, I'm Alberto Rondina and we are in Sicily. Today I'm going to show you some basic tricks on a strapless surfboard. Yes, because when the waves are pumping, uh, you, need to be, uh, you need to have perfect control of the board and be ready to smack the lip. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it and check it out. Hey Albi, so what's happening here? Yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, how to ride on a surfboard. Yeah, so you need to know how to ride both ways first, right? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the basic, you know, it's a slightly different feeling compared to a twin tip, but uh, I mean, it's pretty easy going. So what is the first thing to learn? Well, I guess once you know how to ride, that you got to be able to turn around without stopping. And so, you know, there's a couple ways to do it. This is the easiest one, I think, from the toe side. You're going to you see, put the wheels on the heels, the weight on the heels, and just cruise and go back to that direction. Yeah. So this is like a downwind turn, yeah? Yeah, so yeah, this is a jibe, yeah, so it's a downwind turn. This one is the basically the other one where you actually start from heel side, put the weight on the toes and go to toe side. How important it is to uh, shred it hard so you have a big spray? <laughs> it's super important. I mean, if you have somebody doing a picture, what it matters, it's all about the spray. So spray is going to be big. So then why you do the loop? The loop, it makes the spray even bigger. So. <laughs> No, the loop is good if you, I don't know, if the wind is light or you have uh, somebody upwind of you, this is a good way to get out of the way and uh, turn pretty fast. Okay, so how you switch the legs then? Yeah, the, the legs, you gotta be kind of fast, you know, you gotta uh, move the back feet first and then accordingly the front one put it back to the place where the back one was. Yeah, so keep the weight more in front. Yes, yes, keep the kite pretty high and move the weight in front, yeah. Right, stand up straight. Good, so now we're going to the tech area. Yeah, the tacking is a kind of, I think is the fastest way to turn the board around. It's a little more technical than the jive, of course, but uh, it's the fastest. If you want to turn around fast and you see a wave coming, you have to be ready, just do this one. Right, you don't want to miss the wave, eh? Absolutely, that's why you have to master this one, <laughs> to be eyes closed. Perfect, okay, but I mean, that's a regular turn. Is there anything more cool I can do? Absolutely, man, for you, Kabuski style, you can add this back roll to it and everybody's gonna be like, whoa! Yeah, absolutely, that's my style. <laughs> so how you do it? Yeah, I mean, uh, you basically send the nose of the board against the wind, you have the kite at 12 o'clock really high, and then uh, with the back leg, you kind of push the tail around, and so the board actually turns straight into the other direction. Yeah, I don't want to look like a regular Jerry, that's for sure. <laughs> how about this start, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. Like the worst thing you can do is like get all wet and uh, sit down in the water, lose the board. Uh, you should start in style, right? Absolutely. Start in style and mm, stop in style too. I mean, your hair needs to be dry, yeah? yeah? Absolutely. I mean, the worst thing you can do after a great session, you know, coming back to the beach, impressing the ladies and you just like sink in the water. Absolutely. Absolutely agree. All right, we're going to aerial area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. If you have to jump over your girlfriend, I mean, you gotta kind of be able to do this if you don't want to kill her. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and to be sure you're not gonna hit her, you can just grab the board and uh, easily jump over her. Yeah, I mean, the difference, uh, what I experience is that you have to tilt the board to the wind a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, I can do that. How is it called? <laughs> I have no idea. It's just a pretty fun. I don't know. It's a kind of uh, back roll with the end on the board. How about this one? Can you do this one, Kabuski? I cannot do this one. I tried a million times. I recommend everybody to not try it. It's horrible. <laughs> but it does look cool. This is actually one of the first uh, the transition that I learned. Uh, somehow it was easy for me. Yeah, we hate you for that. Don't give up, bro. Okay, fins first. I like that. Yeah, this one I have to do pretty often here in Stagnone. It's uh, when I start close to the beach and the water is shallow, I start with the fins first so I can go in super shallow water. And then I nose right too. Yeah, go. yeah, I really like those cookie rides. I'm gonna try it next time. Yeah, these are perfect for you, bro. Especially this one when you have a big barrel right behind you. You gotta duck, duck the knee like that and put the, your hand in the barrel to slow down. This could be something for you, actually. You are the freestyle guy. Come on, the blind landings. This is kind of like a pop to blind on a twin tip. Yeah, it looks like even another challenge for me. <laughs> How about this one? Now we're going to the real area. That's that's the shit, right? <laughs> that's the shit. I want to show you through some of these, bro. Okay, so the pumping. Pumping, I mean, this is pretty good uh, to get your feeling on the fence and on the board, on the rail, to be ready to smack the lip whenever there's some waves or your spot. Definitely not in Stagnone, but just outside the lagoon, we got some good wave spots. Well, perfect, thank you. Uh, I'm Latsi and the pretty boy on the screen is Albi, and we're glad uh, we could show you some tips how to do some basic tricks on a strapless surfboard. All right, see you guys out there. Cheers.